All right, everybody, we've just clocked over to three o'clock. I'm going to formally commence now. So hello, everybody. Our time is 3 p.m. at our afternoon session with a welcome to country. I respectfully acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we live, work and learn. I pay my respects to the First Nations people and their elders past, present and future. I am Zoe Allen. I am an Associate Learning Designer for LDI and I am your facilitator and your timekeeper for our sessions this afternoon as we talk about educational technology. We have 90 minute session this afternoon and we have four presentations with each presenter having 15 minute sessions and I will advise you all when we're about one minute out. If you have any questions, please do not ask them directly. If you can copy them and pop them into the chat in our Zoom session, our presenters will have time at the end to answer those questions. Now, let's get started. Our very first speaker this afternoon is Shang Zhang, and I would like to hand the floor over to you. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so um, may I share my screen? Yes, go right ahead. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. Is everyone can see my screen now? Yeah, we can see it, but it's not not in presenter mode at the moment. But it's oh, okay. okay. We can still see the screen. Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, very good. Um, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Chen Zheng from a School of Economics, Finance, and Property at Curtin University. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the conference uh, organizer, CQ University, to give me this opportunity to present our paper at the uh, 2020 Scholarship of Tertiary Teaching uh, Online Conference. Uh, this paper co-authored with Hong Sao Mahamadi from School of Management at Curtin University. Um, the topic I'm going to present today is the impact of intelligent remote invigilation system on student performance. As we know, in the traditional pen, pen and paper exams, uh, we used to employ face-to-face -face or in-person invigilated assessment. However, due to the impact of COVID-19, a large number of assessments in the higher education sector has been transferred to online tests or exams. So one of the biggest challenges posed to many universities uh, in Australia is how to ensure students are submitting their own work and actually sitting internet-based tests themselves. So ARIS uh, is a um, a cononym of the intelligent remote invigilation system used by pilot universities in Australia to remotely invigilate assessment um, to ensure that students are not breaching academic integrity standards when they are taking online tests and exams. Um, Curtin University has been using and developing errors since 2017. Regular student surveys suggest that students uh, generally become comfortable um, with errors once, once they have used it and they value the ability to take a uh, test remotely. Actually, errors help ensure the integrity and the fairness of the assessment for all students. So first question is, what is errors? Errors or intelligent remote invigilation system is um, computer, sorry, I can't see the screen. Okay, um, so IRIS is an intelligent remote invigilation system is, uh, that is a computer program that can record um, audio, video, and the screen of students' work environment during online tests and uh, flag behavior that may show academic dishonesty. So in order to use errors, students must have a functioning micro microphone and webcam 
and recording of sound and video must be enabled and not obstructed at any time. Students also need to download the latest version of free Google Chrome browser because Ares use a Google Chrome browser plugin or extension to access students' webcam, microphone, and screen. During an online test or exam, Ares records the audio signal from the student's computer microphone, a radio signal from their webcam, and take successive uh, screenshots of what the student is seeing on their computer screen. Um, facial markers are identified and checked to determine uh, the orientation of student's head and eyes during the test. Um, errors I, uh, analysis to recorded information and flex behavior that may indicate unusual behavior or and the potential academic dishonesty. As a part of the invigilation process, um, errors will take a screen capture of student ID to ensure the person taking the test is a person that should be sitting it and reduce the risk of cheating. Uh, staff members can view a particular invigilated assessment or student record in hours. For example, a staff can view summary or view full report um, to make a decision on breach of academic integrity by a student. The summary and the full report are available to download in Excel file or in CSV file. St staff also can add notes to the uh, record. So this note could include the comments related to observation made by tutor uh, or unit coordinator uh, in relation to suspicion of breach of academic integrity or other um, anomalous behavior or patterns noted. So this note could be crucial in terms of taking disciplinary actions against those students later. Um, in addition, there could be several reasons behind the not authenticated status of a record, um, including low picture quality of student's photo ID, a failure of video uh, setup on user's computer, or actual suspicion of a breach of academic integrity. So all records uh, with no uh, authentic Authenticated status should be reviewed by responsible or relevant staff members and manually authenticate the user or student. Um, another characteristic of errors is that student data is protected and uh, kept secretly in the same manner as all other assessment data at Curtin University. Um, recordings are stored for a time period that is sufficient in case uh, investigation for misconduct is required. Um, recordings are then deleted from curtain servers. So the recording is reviewed to ensure assessment integrity and is not used for or, or made available for any other purpose. Okay, so basically the recording will be stored in the system um, as long as seven years. So some background about this study. Um, so this study uh, employs the unit of international finance offered by the School of Economic Finance and Property at Curtin University um, as an experiment or as a laboratory. So we focused on mid-semester test during the most recent two semesters, semester one and semester two to 2020. So in semester one, we were not using errors. But in the current semester, semester two, we are using errors throughout the Bentley campus, our main campus in Perth, and all of South campuses. We collect the data, student data, like their grade on this meta text data from Blackboard Grid Center. Um, in spite of potential benefits uh, associated with remote invigilation system, so for example, reduce the staff workload, enhance academic integrity, or convenient study location, it is still unclear whether online invigilation platform um, will influence students' performance. So this study aims to fill this gap by examining the impact of errors adoption. Um, on students' mid-semester test performance. So as mentioned earlier, uh, Ares basically is a cloud-based platform that utilizes machine learning to monitor students uh, during online examination and e-test. We are particularly interested in the comparison of performance between paper exams with in-person invigilators 
in semester one 2020 and e exams in which iris is used as an online uh, invigilation tool in semester two 2020. So here are the preliminary results. Um, so basically I divide the result into two sessions. One is the preliminary result for full sample. That full sample includes semester one and semester two. So you can see from the table, we've got um, 790 observations. That means uh, totally we have 790 students who sitting the uh, mid-semester test. Um, so the mean score, the, to, uh, the, the total mark for, for the mid-semester is 25, and the mean or the average of the score is 19.55. Um, the lowest score is 3.2, and the highest is 25. Also, I split the sample into two periods, that's semester one, 2020, semester two, 2020. Um, so you can see in this case, uh, for semester one, 2020, we have got 412 observations, that means the number of students. And the lowest mark is 9 and the highest mark 25. So the average mark or average score, that's 20.71. Uh, compared to uh, semester one grade, so you can see from semester two, we have got a, a little bit smaller observation number, like 378. So probably it's because due to the, uh, like the impact of COVID-19. So the number of students there is, um, has a decline, actually. Um, so the mean value or the average score is 18.29, um, but the lowest is much lower than um, that then the errors is used in semester one. So you can see that the 3.2 is about a, a one third of the lowest score in semester one. And the highest is 25. So uh, from this preliminary result, we, we can see that um, after introduction of the errors, the student uh, perform worse than before the errors is uh, introduced. Okay, um, so this is just a preliminary um, uh, result of findings. So, so that's after introduction of errors, students grade on missed semester tests are lower than it was prior to the adoption of errors. So in future study, we will dig deeper and explore the potential reasons for this finding. So for example, is it because errors has actually reduced the risk of trading or because students feel stressful when using errors to see their um, assessment or because of technical issues such as student didn't follow the instruction carefully to set up and, and use errors properly. Um, we will expand our study by including more control variables in our regression model and extend the time period to include more data and validate our results. Um, the contribution of this research, um, basically study complements the existing literature on online assessment and adds to the uh, broad research and the considerable debate on the benefit and cost of the use of technology in um, higher education. Thank you. Uh, that's the end of my presentation. Well done, Shang. You did that in record timing. Thank you very much. <laughs>